Welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome to the worst tutorial you'll probably ever watch on YouTube. So what are we doing today? Today we're going over the Dream Pie for Web TV <coughs> version 2. And right now I just want to quickly go over the things you're going to need. So first off, we're going to need a Raspberry Pi. I'm using the model uh, 3B, but you could you could use a 2 or 3B plus, maybe some of the other ones. I don't know. I haven't tested it, but it should work. Uh, of course, you're going to need the power supply. You're going to need a uh, SD card. Uh, I think you can get away with a 4 gig and up. Should work fine. You're going to need a, a USB keyboard. You're going to need USB 56K modem. I'm using this Dell one here. And I will leave a link. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below of uh, the one I got. You can probably see the model number there. But I'll, uh, I'll put it down in the description below just in case. And finally, we're going to need a phone line and a power supply so basically what we're going to be doing here is making a uh, voltage inducer and it's pretty simple so through my testing you're going to need um, you're going to need a decent power supply and I know uh, some people use 9 volt batteries 9 volt power supply but I'm pretty sure you're going to have to go higher than 9 volts who knows maybe not I mean your mileage may vary so you could probably you can go up to 50 volts definitely don't go past 50 um, I'm using a 15 volt power supply which seems to be working pretty good for me um, I tried a 9 it just wasn't enough juice I tried a 12 it wasn't enough juice either um, I tried a 32 volt but that one had too much noise in the line um, it just depends on the power supply you got and, you know, it's, your, like I said, your mileage may vary. Just, if it's not working 100%, try a different power supply. That's all I can say. I got tons of power supplies, so it wasn't a problem for me to find one that worked really well. Uh, anyways, so you want to hook this power supply up to the phone line. So basically, all you want to do is maybe put a little slice down the center of the uh, phone line casing. And you want to pull out the red wire. Then you want to splice that red wire. And on one end, you're going to put the positive side of your power supply. And on the other end of that red wire, you're going to attach the negative side of your power supply. And then just wrap it up in like electrical tape or um, a shrink tube like I did. And uh, that's it. So you should end up with something looking similar to this. So then, um, and when you end up hooking all this stuff up, I just want to go over this because some people, even though it's pretty simple, some people just might not know. Um, so you want to plug your USB modem directly into your Pi like that. And you want it to plug one end of the phone line into your USB modem. And then the other end is going to go into your web TV. And that's pretty much how you're going to hook it up. So that's pretty much all the supplies you're going to need. Um, it's fairly inexpensive to get into this. Uh, the modem I'm using was 10 bucks. You know, Raspberry Pis are cheap. So... You know, it's not too costly to get into this, and um, you can have some fun with your web TV again. We're going to get our web TVs back online, and uh, I'm going to go over next how to uh, set set up the Dream Pi image on, on your Raspberry Pi. So I'll be back in a minute, and we will go over that. All right we are back and the first thing we want to do is go download DreamPie for web tv version 2 
Uh, version 2 has got a few uh, a few more things added to it and it also makes it easier to change the IP of the server you are trying to connect to. So definitely um, if you were using version 1 previously definitely download this one, get this one and um, use this one. It's better. Okay so after you have downloaded I will leave a link in the description below for it. You're going to open it up and you're going to extract um, everything into a folder. Okay, so after you do that, next step is to insert your SD card you're going to be using with the Raspberry Pi. And we are going to format it. So I like to use SD card formatter and um, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can get this so open that up so make sure you got the right card selected quick format uh, volume label you can put whatever you want there or leave it blank and click format okay close that out so once we have it formatted, it's time to put the image onto your SD card. And for that, we are going to use Win32 Disk Imager. Again, I will leave a link to this in the description below. So we're going to open that up. And we're going to click on this little blue folder here. Browse to our image. Um, I put mine somewhere stupid. Um, okay, there's mine. And next, you want to click on the right button. Now, I already have this on an SD card, so I'm not going to do it, but just click right. It won't take too long. It's not a very big image. And when it's done, it should say right successful. Click OK, and then we can exit out of here. All right, next step, take that SD card out of your computer, put it into your Raspberry Pi, and make sure everything is plugged into your Pi. You want the USB modem plugged directly into the Pi, well, one end of your mock phone line plugged into your USB modem, the other end plugged in to your web TV. Make sure your keyboard's hooked up, everything's all ready to go and if your Pi is anything like mine I, when I power mine on I have to have the HDMI unplugged um, I don't know if it's what's going on I don't know if it's my Pi my TV what, what it is but so after the Pi boots up then I have to plug in the HDMI cord so that might be just me but who knows so I'm just throwing that out there just in case so anyways now that your Pi is uh, powered up um, let's log into it. So I have the password text right here. Uh, username is pi and password is pi. All right, we are logged in. Next step is Wi Fi. You don't have to use Wi Fi, but I prefer it because there's one less cord I got in my way. So, let's do that. So we're going to type in uh, sudo s-u-d-o y-fi c-o-n f-i-g Alright, you'll have uh, a few options here. So, option number one, you're going to enable your uh, Wi-Fi. And after you do that, you're going to go back to this uh, same options area and you're going to select option number three I'm not going to I'm not doing it on screen because I've already done it and I don't want to go through all the hassle anyway it's not too much trouble so select number three to add your Wi-Fi network um, hopefully you know the name of your Wi-Fi network and you know your password so you're just going to enter that in and I do believe afterwards you'll have to reset your Pi for all the changes to take effect. 
and when you get back at the I'm going to exit here when you get back at the prompt we're going to check to see what our IP is and uh, check to see if it works so we're going to type in if config c o n f i g w l a n 0 and hit enter so uh, if everything worked then you should see your IP on the screen mine's 192.168.1.17 so if you see your IP um, it's all good you're good to go time to move on to the next step all right next step is uh, let's open up the dream pie command text here now for this next step you can just type in uh, type in this command uh, right now but um, I was using putty um, putty pretty much needed to be used on version 1 because the command was freaking super huge anyways you don't have to use putty but um, I'm going to recommend you get this because it, it does make uh, doing things with your Raspberry Pi easier. So you should get it anyways. Um, so hostname IP address, that's going to be the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. So uh, I already have mine saved here. I'm just going to load it in there. So just right here, type in your, the IP address of your Raspberry Pi, port 22, SSH selected, and just click open. So we're going to log in pi password pi all right so now we're logged in we're just going to take this command here copy paste it all right now you want to put in the ip address of the web tv server you're trying to connect to or the web tv emulator server you're trying to connect to so space i'm going to put in one Nine two dot one six eight one dot three. That's the IP I'm going to be trying to connect to, and hit enter. Starting update of service routes. Service IP addresses have been updated to. Blah 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 blah. Awesome. So now, um, so now it's done. Now you are uh, ready to. Turn on your web TV and connect to a server or connect to the EMU server. So congratulations and that's it for this video. Thank you for watching another crappy tutorial by yours truly and we will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>